Right, hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Journals. And, um, well, I'll see if the uh, recording crapped out or not. But, um, welcome to what I was basically teasing at the end of the last video. Uh, recorded live on Twitch, so you'll hear me interacting with uh, Twitch chat and stuff. Uh, for instance, Dalp Huey, very kindly, you emailed me a scenario. Yep, we'll get that one done, don't you worry. Um, but today, this one is sent in by Bjorn the Pugilist. Um, and... It is a request to revisit a design, well, that will have been shown on YouTube by this point. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, but if you are watching this on um, Twitch just now, then you maybe have not seen the ship. This is going to be a version, a refitted version of the Black Prince. Um, which is has been tasked with taking on Bismarck in Denmark Strait. Um, might as well go with the Advanced Tower 2, right? Compact Secondary Tower. And... And there we go. Now then, the essence of the Black Prince was built around 16-inch guns, but we have more the more advanced 15-inch guns now. So I might actually go for a 15-inch version, especially if they fit on mediums, which they do. They're a lot bigger. Oops. A lot bigger. Right. Um, now then, let's get this. See if we can get this pretty close in. I'll do. Get that four weight offset down. Mm, somewhere in there. There we go. <laughs> Nelson at the front, hood at the back, as requested. Uh, did I lose any destroyers in the last one? Um, I can't remember. I think I don't think I did actually. Um, right, and it was six-inch secondary guns. And then just go with two-inch. Lovely stuff. Now, uh, let's go with double geared steam turbines today. Um, yep, single funnel. Is this one that fits guns on it? No. There is a funnel that fits guns on it. I can never remember which one it is. Uh, Go for balanced boilers, perhaps. Um, how fast are we going to end up going? Nah, not fast enough. Forced. Yeah, forced and 29 knots should be enough. Um, I know I can technically fit another another turret in. I could fit another one here if I wanted, but um, the scenario was specifically requested that I replicate the Black Prince layout, which was uh, A, B, Q, X, Y. Um, well, it's not really a Q, but I don't know, F? <laughs> Something like that. Um, uh, 
and it also tells me that I must use super heavy shells. So given the probably quite high flash fire chance I'm now running with, yeah, 13%. Yeah, we're gonna go with chew powder um, for maximum poking holes. Uh, we don't need the range for this battle. Shouldn't need torpedo defenses, but I might fit them anyway. Just in case. We do have some weight left. Let's get uh, the Gen 2 radar and the Coincidence Rangefinder going. Autoloaders, advanced robotic turret. Um. I think we'll to Electro Hydro Turret, so let's go for Electro Hydro today. Uh, let's get an Auxiliary Drive and Shaft. Okay, this is looking promising. Get a Hydrophone. Mm, maximum bulkheads. Why not? And then Armor. Now then. Let's get the deck set up first, because that's the heaviest. And then let's go 16. No, no way we're going to be able to go to a 16. Might be able to do a 14. No. Millie, that's enough. Shush. Oh, she's a pain in the backside sometimes. Ellie, that's enough. Shush. Sealed orders. I, uh, what? I must have very long range. Oh, never mind. Um, damn. Puts me three percent over. Millie! Stop it. Annoyingly, the uh, the Scottish Parliament election is tomorrow, so there is a lot of. I'm just going to dump the anti torpedo belt. Um, <laughs> there is an awful lot of uh, just campaign literature being dumped in my post box constantly. Right there we go. That'll have to do. There we go. Very long range. Uh, do, 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 do. Do, 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 Um, a quick request. If you start the scenario and it isn't a modern battleship you're facing, please restart the battle. Yes, absolutely. Uh, not a problem. But, uh, there you go. What do you think, Bjorn? Is that kind of what you were hoping for? Refitted Black Prince. Um, swapped the 16s for 15s, but gone up in tech. Pretty, pretty balanced. Let's have a look. Drive up your speed with a loudspeaker. Oh, God, yeah, they must have to... Yeah. I think uh, there would be complaints. Well, that is a modern battleship. <laughs> Seems to have borrowed some French design inspiration. Okay. And we're even starting on kind of parallel courses. There we go. Is that suitably demanding? It's definitely a modern battleship and has a lot of guns on it. Heavy cruiser. Pretty standard. Okay. Diadem. Uh, I just want you to follow. Thank you. Uh, where's the other one? Over there. Orlando. Okay. Strange names for British. Well, Diadem isn't, I suppose, but. Whatever those guns are, by the way, they're big.
and I know I can check by clicking on it. I'm just, uh, I prefer having to wait a little bit. Do, 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 do. Check. So I will, I will try and check my sealed orders. Um, hold on. Scenario submissions. It's just a little tricky to, to do. Because uh, I have to find it because um, Discord doesn't let you. Ah, oh, there we go. Sealed orders on identification. Okay, so I have to be able to identify the enemy ship, right? Do, 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 do. And so that's going to take a while. Still low, 9% accuracy. Oh, we took a big hit there. 19 inch guns. Ow. Of course, a flooding hit in return. Basically, I have to keep my finger on Discord. Um, so it'll stay where it is. Might angle in slightly for dealing with guns that big. Hunt the pain mark. <laughs> Ooh, about a got a ricochet there. Still no ID. Ow! Much pain. Whatever the shell setup they've gone with, that is, oh, very painful. Still no ID, by the way. No, go away. Ow. Right, heavy cruisers. I appreciate the enthusiasm. Still no ID, 74%. Yeah, 69 inch guns is a lot of firepower. A lot. My only hope is that they've gone for something explosive. Okay, we've identified the Graf Spey. Okay. which the heavy cruisers are firing at. And so are my six inch secondaries. We've got another salvo of doom coming in. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, I've lost a turret. Flooding hit. Damage the rudder. Oh, they're identified, right. The Nassau. Many bulkheads. Tube powder. Okay, so they're very unlikely to explode. Um, especially with Citadel 5 and Barbet 4. So, yeah. That's a tough. Not to crack, 227.1 million compared to my 111. So this is a very, very tough ship to deal with. Oh boy. 
Um, oh, um, <laughs> here are my sealed orders. Um, black, uh, must not fall in battle and must retreat if any or all of these criteria are true. Um, a majority of the guns are knocked out. Well, no. Uh, floatability below 25%, structural integrity below 10%, or is unable to go faster than 5 knots. I would argue that if that happens, you're pretty much doomed anyway. But, um, sure. I'll keep plinking away. Ow. Ow. Right, all my engines are out. <laughs> I think that is enough to order a retreat. Dancing as we're down to auxiliary power only. Uh, it's going to be down to the two heavy cruisers. Right. Detach. Torpedoes off. Let's go. Uh, now below 10% structure. <laughs> Let's have a closer look at this thing. Which is very, very nasty. Armour actually isn't amazing. Um, anti torpedo 5, sonar 3. Just has everything. Its only real weakness is it's slow and it doesn't have a lot of armour. So, potentially could get overwhelmed. Ow. Still though, able to retreat at about 15 knots at the moment. Bye, Sunless. Um, have a good time at work. Or not a bad time. Hello there, Dexmex Tex. How you doing? Whoa, cheeky. Ship died. <laughs> Lost. Right. Do you want me to try that again or just chalk it up to a loss? Because I don't think the heavy cruisers are going to last very long. They're going to get absolutely annihilated by that. Yeah. See what I mean? <laughs> uh, I mean, we're almost in torpedo range, but come on, we're... Sonar 3 and anti torpedo 5. I'm going to have to get very close with the 22 inch torpedoes to have any chance. And boom. Yeah. Those 19 inch guns. Not much can do about that. Not with the forces I had. Yeah. 
swinging AI beats me again. No, you would not want an AI ship like that in Taskmaster. Jeez, oh. Uh, yep, a loss. Definitely a loss. <laughs> uh, it is a bit better than what I thought yesterday. That is very true. Um, just, yeah, if you... If, see... I really wonder in the campaign if you're going to know in advance what the enemy has. And I think you will. Because then you can build a ship to counter it. But uh, sadly, the refitted Black Prince, not a match for that monster of a thing. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that nonetheless. And I will see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye.